everyone welcome back again to the channel thank you for tuning into today's video how are you doing today uh welcome to today's tutorial so today's tutorial is on how to lay a frontal and also style a bridal hair so i'll advise you to watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any single step because this um style is actually kind of complicated in a way so just watch the video from the beginning to the end don't skip any part so first is just to control her hair so i did that off camera and this is what it looks like it's just a simple control all back after that i'm just going to go ahead to apply or apply gel on the on her edges just to lay that down so that it doesn't get in the way while i'm trying to uh, lay the frontal and after applying the gel we'll just go ahead to use my hand dryer to help dry the gel faster so that i can go ahead to do the next step moving on i'm just wearing her the stockings cap and then after that we'll just go ahead to spray got to be free spray on her front hair then open up the ear size and after that we'll still go ahead to use my hand dryer to help dry the got to be free spray for the back of her head i'm just going to go ahead to use needle and thread to secure the stocking scalp just on top then go ahead to use scissors to trim off the excess at the back just so that it won't be so tight for her so once i notice that it got to be free spray is dried we'll just go ahead to take the take off the excess in front of her head and then continue with the process So once I take off the SS in front of her hair, that's the SS stocking scalp, we just go ahead to apply this glue on her hair. And the glue, I'm just going to apply it just to further lay the stocking scalp. So I'm applying like little quantity on that part, the front part of the hair, just to lay down the stocking scalp first before I go ahead to start applying the main glue that is going to hold the front hair. So this glue I'm applying is actually little. I'm applying little glue on the front part and after that we we'll spread it off and then use hand dryer to dry it so once i'm done applying or doing that step once i notice that the glue on the hair is dry i'm just going to go ahead to use the shade of her powder with this brush to just just apply around the front part this process is actually really necessary because we want the hair that's after laying the front we want it uh, after laying the front and opening up the like a pattern we want it to be looking like her scalp so that's why i'm using the shade of her powder around that part the front part of her head all right for the wig we actually prepped the wig before the installation and this is not the first time we are installing this particular wig or this is not the first time first time she's installing this particular wig so um the prepping and every other thing i'm going to leave the link in the description below description box below how to prep how to measure the forehead how to cut off the excess frontal just so that it can lay properly on a client head so i'm going to leave the link in the description box below just in case you want to know or learn how to prep a frontal before laying it or before installing it on yourself or even like a client all right after applying the powder i'm just going to start applying the glue that is going to hold down the wig so i'm going to do this like two to three times three more times so i'm just going to apply like dot 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 around her forehead then spread it use hand dryer to dry it then apply again and again like three times i'm just going to do that like either twice or three times this is so that when i lay down the front eye is going to grip it and hold it for a long period of time and i do not want to like put so much glue on the head because once you put so much glue it will be very difficult for it to dry to clear so i'm just going to be doing it like in sections like when i apply the first section of the glue in dots i'm just going to spread it and allow it to dry or allow it to get sticky from like or how to know when it's sticky is when the color start changing from like chalk white that's where you now know that okay it's ready for you to start installing the frontal so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to do this like twice or three times hope you guys get my explanation or rather just watch the video so i'll be installing the frontal exactly where i placed the glue uh see how the frontal is 
looking so natural this is how i'm applying or installing the frontal and see how it's looking so natural the reason why it's looking this natural is because i've already prepped this frontal before so yeah you guys just go ahead and check the description box for link of or links of how to prep a frontal and how to install a frontal 101 all right at this point i'm just going to allow you guys to watch the video because it actually self-explanatory both the styling styling of the bridal hair is self-explanatory so i'm just going to allow you guys to watch They see my bitch, say she act bad. Anytime I knock, I knock with that. No rubber band, no rubber band. For more details on how to lay a proper frontal, like for beginners 101 frontal application or frontal installation 101, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. I have like tons and tons of videos on how to lay a frontal, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the description box below. And also, how to prep a frontal, I'm also going to lay. I'm also going to leave the link in the description box below. All products used here will be on our website just in case you want to order so we have a website where we sell products that we use here and also hairs that we use here so you can check it on our website it's www.exquisitesignature.com it's just going to be on the screen as well so it's going to be on the description box and also on the screen just in case you want to buy any products or patronize us or patronize our market <laughs> For the styling of the bridal hair i'm using this hair padding so there are different ways or different hair padding you can use for different styles so yeah i have filmed the video on how to make hair padding yourself at home so yeah i'm using this particular one for this particular hairstyle if you also want to buy hair padding you can also check our website www.exquisitesignature.com or you can do yourself at home um, I have a link in the description box below where you can go ahead and check how to make a hair padding yourself at home. Alright, after laying or after placing the hair padding, I'm just going to go ahead to use my bobby pins to start coiling. Okay, I'll be using bobby pins to secure the hair, but before securing the hair, I'm just going to use my coiler to coil the hair in sections. So I kind of divided the hair into like three different sections uh, before no three different sections first and after the three different sections then i put my hair padding in between the three different sections so we'll start by styling the upper part of the section and that upper part i also divided it into or i sectioned it into two for the upper section so i have like about four sections right now two at the top two below so the upper one i'm going to be coiling it so by the side i'll start by styling the side first i'll coil it and then use this i'll coil it and then use the bobby pin to just secure it 
so at this point this is self-explanatory if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below i'm going to answer all your questions and yeah so at this point i'm going to allow you guys to watch and see what i'm doing i didn't really use any spray at this point because i don't want it to be too strong like yeah i just watch the video to get a better view and also understand the whole process so i decided to film this video because i had a client that i did exactly this hairstyle on and i was like oh i've not done this on my channel i need to recreate it on my channel so that you guys will get to learn how to do this yourself um that is if you're a brighter hairstylist so that's why i have decided to film this for you guys and yeah this was uh, the client hair that i did and then this is the model hair so yeah it's the same like almost same the difference is just that the client's hair was a little bit longer and yeah but this is shorter so that's why it's not giving up it's not giving that big volume so preferable you want to tell your clients or your model to get like a longer hair like 18 inches or 20 inches of a wavy or bouncy hair so yeah to create or recreate this look on her so yeah that's it guys just watch the video so that you get to see the whole process and also learn one or two things from this video from the beginning to the end so that you don't miss any single step So yeah this is the final look thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end hope you enjoyed and you're able to learn something from this video do not forget to share the video to friends and family subscribe if you haven't leave a comment in the comment section below and give this video a big 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 thumbs up i'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye